Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video we are continuing our playthrough of Five Nights at Treasure Island. In the first video we did the first night, and in this video I'm hoping my skills have improved and we can get a little further. So let's dive into night two and see where this story goes next. I'll let you guys listen to this recording and then once the phone call has played out, I will jump back to you with some gameplay and my commentary. Oh, we got Mickey in the office. Okay, there we go. Quick work on my part there. <laughs> so I had to cut out the end of the call there, guys, because Mickey tried to storm the office and uh, attack as well. That woman was talking to us. I think her name was Lisa. Oh, and we got Donald. So let's go to camera five here and shut that down. The toilet cam, we don't need that right now. I'm trying to track where all these guys are. I'm thinking of trying a new tactic where I mostly just kind of use the office rather than actually stay on the cameras because that's eating away at my power quite quickly. But I'm not going to try it on this round. I'm going to see how I get on. Just sort of monitoring everyone as usual for now. Of course, it's only night two. It shouldn't be too difficult. And I think we've just got Donald and Mickey... Oh, and Oswald. Oswald the Rabbit has now also, uh, of course, joined the rampage of these creepy mascots. And there's Mickey. Okay. But yeah, I'm enjoying this game, guys, but it is, it's it's pretty hard for a fan game. I'm finding it hard to keep track of everybody. And surprisingly, it's very spooky. It's really creepy playing this game. Oh look, guys, you see the masks are looking at us now in that room. That was creepy. Okay, let's keep a track of everyone. There's Mickey by the cast member's door. Oh, he's gone. He's on cam too. I always check in the office in case he's teleported. Anyone else here? Every time you get interference on a camera, it means like an animatronic. Well, I say animatronic, I think they're just cartoon mascots. But one of these mascots could have appeared in our office, so we do have to check that. So far, so good, though. It's 3 a.m. and night two. Oh, Mickey's gone. Oh, he's in the office. Uh, okay, he's gone. That was quick reactions. That was very quick reactions. There's Oswald and Mick and Donald. No. Oh no, we weren't quick enough. All right, guys, I'm going to go back in to uh, have another attempt at night two, but I am going to try my strategy of not looking at the security cameras and instead just waiting until they appear in the office, I think. So we'll jump ahead and try that again. All right, guys, so I'm at 4 a.m. now. I thought I would uh, kill my commentary until... I got back up to roughly the same point as last time. I've been using this strategy where I'm sitting in the office and there you go, you can see Mickey's appeared and basically having a camera queued up ready to shut down. Um, so we've got another one queued up now, I've just queued up camera free. 
And as soon as a mascot appears in the office, I bring up my camera system, shut that camera down that I've pre-selected, they go to investigate and I'm safe. And that actually works and it makes the game a lot easier. So this will be the new strategy going forward. You do have to be very mindful of your surroundings. As you can see, I'm looking around, I'm making sure that if anyone comes into the office, I'm going to be well aware there's Donald. So we'll bring that up, shut the camera down, select another one, camera five, and just rinse and repeat basically. But we're on 5am and doing well. So we just need to check around if we see Oswald, Mickey, Donald, anyone else, any other fun-loving Disney character, we just shut those cameras down. They will leave us well alone. And so far, I think we don't need to worry about any different mechanics. It's just shutting cameras down for these guys. But yeah, thanks for all your positive comments on my first video, guys. I'm glad you are enjoying this series so far, and I will keep playing this game as long as you guys are watching my videos. All right, what are we doing? I can hear a weird voice. Maybe it's all in our heads. Come on, 6 a.m. Yes, <laughs> nice, just as I said it. Okay, so we've got to 6 a.m. That is night two beaten, and now we can move on to night three. We've got enough one of these cutscenes. Seems like we're waking back up in the prison cell again. Oh, I can hear a weird noise. Who is that? Oh, just saw someone dart past. Who was that? Which character was that? Is that Oswald or is that Mickey? That looks like the eyes of a mouse. That looks to be Mickey to my eyes. Okay, night three, guys. I'll let you listen to the recording and then we'll hop back into some gameplay as usual. I think that little tip said the headless one can detect movement as well, so that's something to uh, keep note of. We might have to stand still when the headless character appears. Hello? Hello, is anyone there? <sighs> if anyone is hearing this, my name is Henry. I, I don't have much time. I'm one of the SSA's interns. I'm stuck in pirate caverns. Please. Whoever finds this message, help me. I, I know a lot of things about this place. I can't say it all over the phone. They could be listening. Just please come get me out of here. I'm on the second floor. Okay, so we've got somebody in the pirate caverns. We were told not to go to the pirate caverns in the last video. Look at those masks just looking at us as well, guys. That's horrible. Yeah, we were told not to go to the pirate caverns, but it seems like we're going to have to go to them now to sort of save this intern who has crucial information apparently about this place. Who knows if he's telling the truth or perhaps he just wants us to help him out. I can hear noises. I don't like that. Oh, there's a headless one. Wow, okay. So I stood still there, guys, by pressing control down. If you stand still, that headless character goes away because he can detect movement. I don't know how he detects movement when he hasn't got a head. Obviously that is... What's that? I'm turning the light out, guys. Oh, I can see eyes. Okay, I deactivated the camera. So that was weird. I could hear a voice. It sounded like Minnie Mouse's voice. I could only see her eyes, though, when I turned up the camera. I couldn't actually see her in the room. So it seems like turning out the camera shows up animatronics that are in the room so we can see Mickey's there, we'll shut off the camera and he's now gone. But yeah, that's interesting to note that we, we see the eyes appear in the darkness. That tells us if there's an animatronic, so we're just going to stand still here, let Goofy go. I assume that's Goofy because of course we can see Goofy's head is on camera too, severed. Uh, and that character looks very much like Goofy. We've got Oswald there, so we'll shut the camera down. He'll go. Select another camera. I hope these cameras come back online. I'm pretty sure they must, after a little while. Otherwise, we're going to run out of cameras to shut down. Oh, how are you, Donald? How are you doing? Shows back up, just right in our face. I can hear someone whispering as well. Is anyone about? I'm just going to shut out the light every time I, I wonder if something is here. 
I'll just turn off the lights. And if we see the eyes appear, it means we've got a character in the room with us. If we see nothing, we're safe. Oh, there's Mickey. There we go. He's gone. Another camera. There's Goofy. So he stands still. He goes away. Excellent. And no eyes are seen. So that means we're safe for now. Man, this is absolutely nerve-wracking stuff. Really... The atmosphere, you could cut the atmosphere with a knife. I don't like that little Mickey on our desk either, and I don't like that voice. What the hell? Okay, no one's about, no one's about, no one's about. It's too quiet. Man, I don't like this. I'm not looking at the camera. Oh, there's Mickey. Camera is out. Pick another camera. There's Donald. Hey, Donald. I don't think Donald harms us. There's Goofy. It stands still. Yeah, I don't think Donald harms us. I think Donald just kind of makes a loud noise. You can leave him there for as long as you want. But he does obviously block our vision as well. We're not doing too bad, guys. This is 3 a.m. night 3 now. Come on, 4 a.m. No one's here. Good. Just how we like it. Oh, we've got two characters. We've got Minnie and Mickey. And now they've gone. So at least we know that Minnie Mouse is a thing as well. She appears. But also, she's easy to dispel. We also just sort of take a camera out to get rid of her as well. So that's good to know. Oh, we've got another one. That's weird. We had a character right in front of us and I couldn't see them. It was like a phantom character or something. There's Goofy. So we'll stand still. There's Mickey. So we'll take a camera out. And there's Oswald. So we'll take a camera out. Oh man, that was close. I actually thought that I hadn't done it quick enough then and we're going to get jump scared. Is anyone here? Yep, Donald's here. I actually think Donald Duck is one of my favourite characters. Goofy and Donald Duck are two of my favourite Disney characters. But not these versions, you know. These versions, definitely not. These are the things of nightmares. <laughs> it's 4am, guys. Come on, let's get up to 5am. If we can do this first go, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, what's that laugh? Sounds like an Alice Angel. Okay. We're good. There's Goofy. Stand perfectly still. Yeah, every time I'm doing that, guys, I'm just holding the control key down. It makes us stand perfectly still. Uh, but our vision is impaired when we're doing that. Okay, nothing to be seen. The light seems to be flickering on and off a lot faster now. So I hope we've got enough power left. Oh, Minnie. Hello, Minnie. Minnie is one of the scariest looking ones. She's got like sharp teeth and stuff. Oh, there's Mickey. Wow, we've only got 15% power left? No way. And there's Donald. I think every time we cut a camera, it takes off a massive amount of power. I can hear someone, but I can't see any eyes. Stand still, stand still. Come on, get to 6am. It's so close now. Oh, we got Mickey. And I can hear a voice as well. But I can't see any more eyes. I think when we hear that, like, woman's voice, we have to also take out a camera, maybe? But I'm not 100% sure. Oh, yeah, we did it. Nice. Awesome, guys. We did it first try. Awesome. Okay, pirate caverns. Oh, we're actually going to the pirate caverns to explore and find that guy now says, you are not alone, pay attention to everything. If there are eyes, use the flash. If no eyes, stand still. Okay. So, control to stand still, spacebar to use the flash. I think. We've got a flashlight. Oh, we've got eyes. So, yeah, we've got a camera. We have to blind the characters with eyes and stand still if they haven't got eyes, it said. So, we're just going to go this way. Oh, there's a drawer. And a key in the drawer. Nice. Take the key. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. I like that version of Mickey on the clock. 
It's so dark, it's absolutely nightmare fuel. Oh, Mickey, go away. Let's go back, let's go back. I think I saw an elevator in the main hall. There we go. Uh, anyone here? Nope. I can't go that way, so I'm going to go to the elevator. And he said he was on floor two, so let's go up to floor two. There we go. I hope nothing attacks us while we're in here. I can't activate my flashlight in the elevator. We've got Mickey over there. We've got Jiminy Cricket. Recycle, please, on that poster. And some pleasant elevator music. Some nice little tunes to keep us from going absolutely insane in this place. It's kind of nice. Can I just stay in this elevator? Nope. Okay. We have to get out. There you go, guys. Pirate Caverns. We're in the Pirate Caverns gift shop. Lots of Mickey Mouse ears there. Oh, there's Mickey. Okay, don't flash him. Stand still. He's got no eyes. So that version of Mickey had no eyes. We have to stand still for him. Uh, we've got a bridge here. I can't see anyone. I don't know which way we go. I'm just going to follow this round. Seems like there is only really one way to go here. There's Mickey. Oh, no. Oops. I did not mean to do that. I meant to stand still. But luckily he didn't jump and scare us. I pressed the wrong button then. I panicked. Man, that version of Mickey is like a magician or something. He's creepy as hell. What's this say? Leave me alone? Out? That must be from the guy that lives down here. Staff only. Is this his room? We've got the key, of course. Oh my god, what is this? Lies. He is li- They are lying. Do not listen. And there's like a phantom version of Mickey. Is that the guy that appears as a voice to us only in Eyes in the Dark? Whatever happened here, it looks like someone went crazy in this room. It says the dead walk on some of these pictures and stuff. I can't decipher what they all say. It says help me on another one no more. This is creepy, guys. I don't know what the heck is going on here. But we're going to be finding out in the next part because I think I'm going to call it a video here. Okay guys, it went to night 4, but instead of going to night 4, I've decided to end the video here for today. If you want to see more of Five Nights at Treasure Island, let me know in the comments below and hit the like button if you did enjoy this video. And of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. Also let me know, would you like me to play more Five Nights at Freddy's fan games on the channel? Because that is something I can start doing. I would like to do more Let's Plays, so do let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that. With that said guys, we made some good progress on this game today, so I'm going to end it there and I will see you all on the next video.